So hey everyone, if you are planning to join ISC and are curious about the MTech CDS program at ISC, this video is just for you. Today we have an in-depth conversation with my friend who is pursuing MTech in CDS at ISC. We talk about the his journey and why he chose MTech over PSU and from to the admission process. He shares his insights on the written test and interview questions. Today we have uh, Sudhansu Pandeji from ISC and he is currently pursuing MTech in CDS second year. So first we will like you to introduce yourself Sudhansu about your B.Tech journey and other things. Uh, uh, thanks Rohit. Uh, so I am Sudhansu and uh, uh, I did my bachelor's uh, uh, back at IIT Lucknow. Uh, I am 2023 pass out and in the same year uh, I wrote two different gate papers and uh, I secured uh, All India Rank 56 in gate EC and then uh, secured all India rank 26 in gate instrumentation and uh, thereafter I got admitted at uh, IIC in computational data science. So currently I am uh, pursuing my masters in uh, computational and data science at uh, Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. Okay that was quite good based given the rank you have achieved just in your fourth year. When you were preparing for gate were you so clear about that you will be choosing MTech because uh, mostly People from EC, they have both the options of MTech and PSUs. So first of all, tell me how you decided for the MTech and not going for PSUs. Okay, uh, so uh, it's it's a personal choice of an individual. Uh, so uh, I I never thought about this uh, PSUs and all. So my like my purpose was to pursue uh, higher studies. Uh, but so a lot of my friends who were there, we we all uh, we all were preparing uh, like at the same time. So a lot of them were preparing for PSUs. Uh, so I, I talked to a few of my seniors uh, in that regard uh, and I found out that uh, like so you could join PSUs uh, as per your uh, own situations uh, but in PSUs the growth is not that much so let's say if, if you are putting in so much effort more than the others uh, mm -hmm. still you will be having some like definite rate of progress and that's not the case here and uh, the other thing was i was made, like much interested in the higher studies so uh, it, it, it was pretty clear during my uh, preparation of gate that i won't be joining any places so when you were so much clear about the higher studies were you so clear about the domain in which you will be going uh, so uh, th that i was not at all clear at that time and uh, so so, uh, so in general if, if you are from ec or electrical or mechanical or uh, like any uh, any core domain then what happens is you don't get much time to explore about data science machine learning and all so mostly people are exploring like their own own core domain special specifically uh, if, uh just to maintain if this they are going for gate, no. especially yes, if they yes. are preparing for higher studies they will study their core domain subjects yeah. only so that, and uh, so i was fortunate uh, fortunate in that matter so what happened was uh, like so during my preparation i was not at all clear but uh, just after gate you you have some time like uh, yes, before applying to some admission or psus you have some time in between so i contacted a uh, few of my seniors who were already there at uh, iisc so they suggested me uh, like different courses uh, that iisc provides so cds was one of them and uh, they suggested me few uh, few lectures lectures as in then uh, some media lectures and few resources uh, that they asked me to read and uh, like go through those lectures so once I like uh, when I went through those lectures and uh, like uh, I, I read about data science, uh, Zebra, then I found out that data science is uh, is uh, very easy as compared to uh, this core communication or VLSI okay. domain. Okay. So okay. It's, it's again, it's a personal choice. It, it depends person to person. Uh, but in, in general, it, it, it is it is the truth that data science and all uh, they are uh, like they don't uh, uh, are not they are not much harder as compared to uh, the core domain so that was one of the driving force uh, that i thought that okay uh, I'll, I'll choose this computational data science computational. and also the uh, it's it's the boom of ai so mm -hmm. i like i also saw the placement stats at cds but uh, okay, okay. That, like but as as of now we like we see that okay uh, the Department of Electronic System Engineering is far ahead as compared to CDS AI or CSA in terms of uh, that that you can't decide it happens based on companies and other factors are also responsible. So basically we can say after gate exam you tried to explore you talk to your seniors. Yes. Got to know about this thing then you explored 
re read something from an online videos and tutorial and then you made your mind that okay this field is interesting enough for me yes. and i can go based on my rank i am also competitive enough to go in that field so yes. so see cds is at isc is okay so did you try for any other such programs in iit is thought of or researched about any other programs in this field yeah so i told you that i i made my mind uh, to go into like this to explore this field of uh, computer or computational data science thing so isc was my first priority and then i also applied for uh, iit delhi so there was some computer architecture course something like that uh, they were applying uh, they were offering masters i got off a letter from there also and uh, no uh, no other uh, no other iit so how was the admission process at isc from you can tell a brief like how you applied what were the process selection criteria other things in short you can tell yeah so uh, when you uh, so once your gate score is released then when you apply on the admission portal uh, so you are uh, you you are shortlisted on the basis of your gate score uh, for your interview so uh, so for the interview so let uh, after short listing uh, there are two uh, two different things one is the written exam and then the other one is uh, interview so written exam you are supposed to write uh, from your home and it it weighted 15 so out of 100 it weighted 15 and then 85 was the uh, interview weight uh, so in, in in that written exam so written exams were, was very easy uh they asked i guess 10 to 15 aptitude question and then two coding question in which you are supposed okay. to use any language and mm. so it was just a matrix multiplication i remember so if if you are doing a uh, if you are good at basic coding then you need not to worry about it much and uh, the interview was in campus so you are supposed to come to isc campus at cds and then you are supposed to uh, uh, give your interview and uh, so in the interview uh so they they generally ask you uh, in which uh, uh, like in in which domain are you more confident so they ask me uh, like so the, they are more they, they are mostly interested in linear linear algebra and probability so i i said that i'm comfortable with, with both of them so they ask me a few questions about uh, this matrix so uh, i i don't remember it much but uh, uh, i think some uh, eigen value uh, and eigen vector these type of concepts so in general if if you follow the any basic linear algebra course you will get to know all these things that are required and also they ask some probability questions uh, so it it depends if you say that okay you are comfortable with both they can ask any question but uh, what i observed is let's say so uh, during during our preparation of gate uh, we have this uh, in 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 engineering mathematics we have two different sections like uh, the first one was uh, uh, this linear algebra thing and linear then the, at last we have this probability also probability yes so specifically if if you want to prepare for your interviews just solve those type of those questions that are asked in uh, engineering mathematics uh, including all the different papers and mm -hmm. probability also they'll ask you that the, these type of questions say uh, you toss the coin five times like what is the probability of getting uh, head on fourth time or some generalizable things so all all these type of questions you you'll uh, get in during your uh, gate preparation of engineering mathematics okay okay so like uh, after, based on your gate criteria you are selected for the written test so is it that after written test you are certain that you will get interview call or uh, like if you qualify written test then only you will get interview call uh that i forgot but i think uh, so uh, once once you are shortlisted then you are supposed to appear for both like both the, for both written test and then uh, interview also okay so how's the workload there like uh, how difficult or easy it is for you to get into those courses of cds because uh, i think most of them will be different and since people from csc also i think they must be there in cds cs yeah. background also different background so yes. how difficult yes. or easy it for a person from ec background to get along those courses and manage uh so uh, workload in the first act uh, first and second semester actually whole first year it's it's quite hectic so uh, we have uh, like we have total 64 credits that we are supposed to complete 28 credits uh, is our uh, like master thesis and then remaining 36 credit that we are supposed to complete with courses so we have few hardcore course soft core course and uh, so in the first semester like uh, people take in general four to five subjects and uh, uh, so uh, cds admits people from different uh, disciplines so uh, we all start from scratch uh, but see 
the plus point about, about this hard work is so the first semester will be hectic but at the starting of your second semester uh, you will be up, uh, applying for your internships and all uh, okay. and uh, so after your first year uh, as soon as you go in, into the third semester uh, you will be applying for your full time placements so it's it's worth it so yeah so workload at first year whole first year it's too hectic but as soon as you move to second year then it uh, like it it reduces uh, so you are only left with two or three courses and then in the final semester uh, it's up to you if you want you can take any subject otherwise if you are done with all your 36 credits then you can only uh, work on your master's thesis okay so like in the first semester the courses you take do they require a prerequisite if you are not from ec you will be having some difficulty or they cover from the basics that it will not require that much extra effort no so i i would say it it will require a bit of extra effort but so for us the plus point is if you are good at engineering mathematics like you have prepared well uh, during gate and then we have also in communication we we learn about these uh, map ma ml uh, so all these analysis maximum a posteriori analysis all these things so you have the like good idea about the probability in our communication digital communication section so i i think that okay so uh, i could i was able to relate few of the concepts that i learned during my uh, grad uh, here so i i would suggest that okay if you are good at engineering mathematics uh, just so before coming here if you are getting uh, if you are uh, uh, admitted here then uh, please revise all those probability linear algebra mathematics concepts because okay. the whole first year you will be mostly working on theory part and you will be mostly working like learning all these concepts that are required uh to like uh, to apply in your second year okay so basically we can say that mathematics is the whole crust or base and based on that you yes. build up upon different courses yes okay so and then moving on to the internship opportunities and the placements so what are the domains in which students like the profiles since now if you are doing a masters very specific roles you are going to get so what are some roles or some areas in which people will get jobs or internships so it depends uh, so mostly we work on uh, ai and uh, data science things machine learning and data science things uh, but see the work is same but different company call the role differently so it's some different. people uh, some company will call it as ai engineer some will call as data scientist or some will call uh, some something else but you have ample amount of opportunities there during internship and during full time placements too okay and uh, since isc also has ai program ai in mt so can you relate or mean tell us the differences or similarities in both the courses that we have so uh, what i found out is uh, there is not much difference between uh, cds and ai so okay. uh, like initially i also thought that okay ai will be different but and cds will be different but once you get admitted here then you realize that so uh, just except few hardcore courses that ai people will do for their uh, like specific ai uh, course completion and this hardcore courses for cds that we will do uh, there is not much difference even there is no discrimination between internship and placements so both yeah so the branch students allowed to sit together for companies which yes, are coming yes. there is no discrimination okay. zero discrimination between ai and cds and okay. csa also so okay. almost like these three branches are almost equivalent and so even at, at, at that time uh, when i was applying here i was equally interested in both so what i found out is that uh, ai people they have some uh, uh like they are more into uh this uh, mathematics and all so we are also that okay. but uh i think that okay they are uh so there are few hardcore courses which require much rigorous mathematics as compared to us but opportunities for all the three will be same based on your interest you yes. can pick elective yes so okay. if if you are uh like if you you are focused on placement and all then all three branches are uh, almost same like there is no difference okay. between uh, ai csa and cds and uh, any comment for those like who are interested in further studies like going for abroad for phd or even in isc how's the research work culture here uh so uh, like uh, it's it's the best research institute here uh, so what i found out is the, the main difference between uh, like between the other colleges and iisc is that there's no foundation uh, of work 
so you feel a bit of workload but it, it, like it's a healthy workload actually and uh, you have labs so in whole first year i told you that you you learn all the theory part and then so just after uh, completion of your first semester uh, then you join like you ask your, your professor so you decide in which domain you want to go so you want to work on let's say i'm working in medical imaging you want to work on medical imaging you want to work on computer vision you want to work on nlp so you you talk to different professors and then join their labs so once uh, after joining then you directly apply all those concepts that you learn in your first semester actually first year to your uh, master's thesis uh, program so uh, so it it's a very healthy environment uh, for research as well as for placements also so placements here are also good and if you are planning to go for uh, a phd or uh, like ms from foreign uh it's it's uh, it it provides you a very good stage if you are putting in effort and you are able to publish something valuable then you will definitely get uh, the opportunity to go out so in your to, so far journey like more than one and a half year um, do you know seniors who have went abroad for my phd or in from your department yes. Okay, yes okay. so a lot of people uh, so especially so if you if you are uh, clear about your uh, uh, about your further studies uh, just before applying then uh, it's better to apply for ms course instead of uh, like uh, so uh, m tech uh, so uh, in ms you so you work so you have the time period of 2 2 and a half year uh, in that uh, in that time period you work on your own thesis Uh, but in M Tech, we are more into like completing the course and get uh, get okay. placed. Both. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, I, I would suggest if if you are more into uh, this research, then go for MS program. And yes, I know a lot of people who who went for higher studies. So uh, PhD. So it, it's it's again a like uh, a discussion topic whether to do PhD at IIC or PhD at foreign. But anyway, okay. wherever you you want to apply. So if you are very clear about your things. then you'll work that much hard here and as is definitely going to provide you the stage uh, that that can lead you to uh, to pursue your dreams okay so thank you for the insights about serious program so before closing one last question would be about you like what you like most about as hey, every, everything at iic is, is the best so once you enter in the campus uh, the green the, the environment everything uh, like you'll fall in love with that and the best part about iic that i found out is uh, so like here uh, there is no boundation of work like there is uh, no uh, like no one is going to ask you why uh, you are doing this why uh, you are experimenting with that so okay. it's it's so you are the master of your own here and uh, so once you are done with so uh, and also we have the placements uh, in our like in the beginning of our third semester and that is mm. uh, we are way more ahead as compared to iits so let's say if, if you got placed yeah if you got placed uh, uh, in your third semester let's say in october november now you have 6 uh, to 7 months in your hand you are free like you are mentally uh, free to do whatever you want to pursue whatever you want and so i see so coming to i see the life changing decision so i i could have uh, like gone to psus and all but now i realize that this this is the like the best that you can get so as a, okay. as in a student if you are more into studies if you want to pursue your own dreams then is the best place to have okay so thank you sudanzu for giving your valuable time to share insights about cds hope it will be helpful for those who are aspiring to join isc thank you so much thank you rohit thanks for inviting me once again okay.